Would you pray with me? Oh God, thank you for voices from the past that we can draw on to bolster our own faith and to give us perspective. To know that we're not alone today. To know that we're never alone on our journey. God, thank you for these words from the Apostle Paul. So then, my brothers, because of God's many mercies to us, I make this appeal to you. Offer yourselves as a living sacrifice to God, dedicated to his service and pleasing to him. This is the true worship that you should offer. Do not conform outwardly to the standards of this world, but let God transform you inwardly by a complete change of your mind. Then you will be able to know the will of God, what is good and is pleasing to him and is perfect. Love must be completely sincere. Hate what is evil. Hold on to what is good. Love one another warmly as brothers in Christ and be eager to show respect for one another. Work hard and do not be lazy. Serve the Lord with a heart full of devotion. Love, let your hope keep you joyful. Be patient in your troubles and pray at all times. Share your belongings with your needy brothers and open your home to strangers. Ask God to bless those who persecute you. Yes, ask him to bless, not to curse. Rejoice with those who rejoice. Weep with those who weep. Show the same spirit toward all alike. Do not be proud, but accept humble duties. Do not think of yourselves as wise. If someone does evil to you, do not pay him back with evil. Try to do what all men consider to be good. Do everything possible on your part to live at peace with all men. Do not let evil defeat you. Instead, conquer evil with good. God, you have blessed those words through the centuries. Bless them and give them new life in our hearts today. And now would you join me in the prayer that Jesus taught his disciples to pray. Say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the king. Did I miss a line? <laughs> wow, what a Sunday. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Man, let's take up some offering. <laughs> and it'll probably fall and roll under the pew or something. <laughs>